you, it's not about me, all about you. You can get your heart right today because certain people have a divine appointment with God today. We're here today for that reason. We're here to proclaim the good news of the gospel. We're here, we're unashamed of Jesus. We're unashamed of the things of God. We care about you today. Many people shy away from this, the name of Jesus. I don't know what it is. It does all sorts of things to people. Some people get angry. Some people try and ignore it, look the other way. But some people are drawn to the name of Jesus. And they're the ones we're interested in speaking with today. Those who feel the tug in their heart that something is missing. There's a peace missing in their heart that nothing on this earth can fill. Only Jesus Christ can fill that gap. So come today, humble yourself. That's the big one. You know what keeps people away? Pride. The pride of man. The pride of man says, I'm not going to go and talk to that bloke with a big red sign. What will people think if I'm talking to him on the street? He's very loud and we've got all this important stuff to talk about. Nothing's more important than your eternal life, people. It's all about you today. It's all about you. People give me a nice smile like, he's a nice fella, but please don't talk to me about Jesus. I'm going to, I'm going to continue to talk about Jesus long and loud and proud of God. If I'm going to have pride about anything, it's going to be about my God, my Jesus, and what he's done for mankind, what he'll do for you. But I'll tell you what, people, it is not automatic. It doesn't just happen. It can happen if you humble yourself. Okay, that's what I'm saying. The pride of man will keep you from God. You've got to humble yourself. Come and talk to Jesus. He will save your soul. He'll set you free. He'll give you new desires on the inside. He'll take away those addictions, sucking on that vape and all that. He'll take all that away. He'll take it away for you. You've got to give him a chance in your life. If you don't want to do that, he will not impose himself on you. You realize that, people? This is an invitation. It's not something that's forced on you. You cannot enter heaven the way you are. That stuff around your neck will not get you to heaven. People think they have rosary beads and crosses and all this around their neck and they're going to make it to heaven on some, for some reason. I don't know what the reason is. Jesus didn't say it. He said, unless you're born again of my spirit, you cannot enter heaven. So you've got to be born of his spirit to enter heaven. Very simple, people. It's not difficult, but people want to complicate it. They want to start applying their own truth. Eternity's just around the corner. You've got to make sure you know where you're going. It's closer for some people than others. We have no control over when we pass from this earth. None at all. Anyone who tells me they know they'll be here in 10 years time, 100% is fooling themselves. Hey, listen, don't do that guys. 166,000 people died yesterday. Come and have a chat. Come here, I want to tell you about it. Come and talk to me. Bring your mates. You nearly pushed him in front of a thing. What did you do that for? Come here. Come here, guys. Hey, listen, what are you doing? What's happening? I'm walking. I'm not doing it. Hey, I see you went like that. And you know, I'll tell you how fragile life is. I looked on the internet yesterday. 166,000 people died. Yesterday, today, every day. Yeah, almost, but every day through 2023. 60 million of them. Whoa! And I'm telling you, now listen, I'm telling you, this is the truth. This is why, you know why I'm telling you that sad story? Because we have no control over that, right? Wow. That's insane. But watch it, if you don't know where you're going, or when you're going, at least know where you're going. Does that make sense? Where to? Where to, bro? I don't heaven, know man. Going. Heaven, yeah. Yeah, well, listen, if you don't know, you can know. This is why I'm out here. What do you think I'm out here today? I've never seen you before in my life. I might never see you again. Yeah. But God has a message for you. You know what this is? A divine appointment. So just give me two minutes of your time. This will be a game changer in your life, okay? Any Christians here? Nobody's a, you're a Christian? Okay. I'll tell you what, when I was a little fella, I thought I was a Christian. I'm not saying this to you, but I had, a, I had a label on myself. And they said, why are you a Christian? I said, mum and dad were Christian. I went to a Christian school, read the Bible, and they went like this. I said, what'd you do that for? It was like a quiz show, you know? And I get a bit upset. And when I, they said to me, how you going, Gary? They said to me, <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. They said to me, there's only one thing that will get you to heaven. Okay? 
what Jesus Christ did and said. Think about this. Like when they told me, it rocked my socks off, mate. But I got them back, all right? That's my dad joke. You better laugh at my dad joke. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Good on you. You're a good man. Hey, listen. Seriously now, Jesus Christ said these words. He said, unless you're born again of my spirit, you cannot enter heaven. Think about that. If you're one of the 166,000 that dies tomorrow, you cannot enter heaven. So the way you walked up, and when, he, when you bumped him in front of there, he could have been up there, standing in front of God. Listen, God, what am I doing here? This is the judgment seat of Christ. And God says, I'm opening the books on your life. Listen, every thought, every word, every deed, everything you've ever done will be up before God. Listen to this one. Even some of that stuff, you know, you might have been looking at on the screen. You know what I'm talking about? Porn. Yeah. yeah. You, had, you had to say it, right? Now, but listen, God sees it all. Nothing is hidden. Over here is heaven. No sin in heaven. Looks at your life. You don't get a pass. You've got sin on your life all over it. Is that a sin? It's a terrible sin. And it's worse than that. Listen, it's a deep hole. I'll tell you why. You start looking at it. You know, young bloke. Oh, I just want to see what the girls look like. You start, listen. Oh, I don't have to watch porn for that shit. No, but listen, I know, I know what you're saying, they're very open, but you say, I'm just going to have a look, and then you have a look, and then you get a bit dissatisfied, and you say, oh, I'll go a bit deeper, and you go down a level, and still not satisfied well, after a while, deeper and deeper. deeper and deeper and deeper, until you end up doing, listen, end up doing shameful things, so I'm telling you, it's a, it's a deep hole, like him on the weekend. That's him on the weekend. all that. Now listen, guys, yeah, I know, but listen to me. Okay, back to, where, back to where we're standing in front of God. He sees everything, right? Now, who knows Jesus Christ came to this earth and died on the cross, right? Why did he do that? To take all the sin off your life and put on himself. What a beautiful thing. Free gift. Well, I gave you that whole building. See that big one? And you gave me a dollar. Listen, you give me a dollar, you, that wouldn't be a free gift anymore. You would have bought it for a dollar, right? This is just an illustration. This free gift that Jesus did for you guys and me is free. You can't buy it, you can't earn it, you can only receive it. And when you do, this is what happens. This is a beautiful part. All that sin on your life, listen, all that sin on your life, that dirty old black sin, he takes it off, puts it on himself, Why but he gives black? you... Why is this in black? It's black because it has consequences. Think about this, right? Two people, I'll just give you one quick illustration. Two young people jump into bed together, Right, listen to this. No, 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 no. boy and a girl, right? Me and no. my woman. Yeah, jump into bed, listen. Me and, my and everything goes wrong. They get carried away. She gets pregnant. That All right, listen happened. to me. That happens a lot. Listen. This guy walks away with STDs. She goes and gets an abortion. I got STDs. Now listen, and she is never the same again, and neither is he. But listen to me. That's there are consequences for sin, right? That's why they're black. Now listen. Get away from that. Jesus Christ took the sin off your life. This is the free gift. But he gave you something back. Listen to this one. It's called his righteousness. When he gives you his righteousness, it's a big word, means no sin. So here it is. God looks at you. No, no, looks at you with the righteousness of Jesus on you. No sin, no sin in heaven. There's your pass. Isn't this easy? But it's not automatic. If it was automatic, see all these hundreds of people walking by, they'd all be dancing around saying, hey, we're all going to heaven. That's not that way at all. You have to do something. And that's why he's got you here today, guys. This is a divine appointment. He's knocking on the door of your life today. Serious matter now. And he says, if anyone hears my voice, opens the door, I'll come in, I'll wash away your sin, I'll give you that righteousness, and you will be safe in the hand of God. Cost you nothing, gives you everything. Yeah? Is it a good idea? Oh. Now, don't worry about that. Is it a good idea? Yeah. Pray with me. Let's get this done. Come on. Pray with me. Pray. What you do is, listen. Pray. Now listen, look at me. This is serious before God, guys. Look at me. You bow your head and you say before God, Heavenly Father, I ask Jesus into my life. Come in and wash away all my sin. Give me all your righteousness. I believe you died for me. And that you rose again. Serious. I know it's noisy. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about this. Okay? All right? That only adds to it. Listen, guys. Wash away all my sin. Let's go. I believe you died for me. And that you rose again. Don't worry about that. Hey, guys. You're talking to before God. He's going to do something wonderful in your life. All right? All ready? I believe you rose again. 
I give you my life. I turn away from my sin. And according to your word, I'm born of your spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, guys, that's it. Amen. The big amen at the end. Come here, listen, I haven't finished it. Nearly, nearly.